Hello, ladies and gentlemen. To uh, Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're going to be doing a review of the Shogun Megazord. It's my personal favorite, and let's take a look. So, a little bit of history about this. This originally came out in Japan in 94, I believe. Um, the pink arm bot right here is actually white, just like in the actual show. So... That one is the most desirable, and that fetches the most amount of money. So right here, this is my childhood Shogun Megazord. These one, two, three, four, five here. Back there, that's I've opened it up, uh, but everything is mint. Like, still bagged. I've never played with it, anything like that, when I was young. It is pretty much as mint as you can get. I'm not going to, like, open it, but hopefully I'll have a picture of all the accessories these guys usually come with. Because they usually come with, um, well, obviously you see the big sword in the background. There'll be a shield. Each one will have, like, a different ninja weapon because it's, uh, yeah, super cool. And it's unique. Also, uh, usually Zords are like animals uh, or something, but this is like a five-part uh, like human uh, bot uh, combiner. And actually in the back of the red leader here uh, is a helmet. And how I first actually got into this is I found this the head part at the thrift store when I was probably, I don't know, six or something. And it from then on it's uh yeah well i still have it and uh yeah so let's take a look so first what we're gonna do we're gonna go with we'll go with the main so here's red we'll take a look at them you can see you got fins in the back that is where the helmet's stored there so these are pretty much bricks no foot movement you get you can 360 the arms, they turn, and that's about it. But that's okay. I love these bricks. They're big. They're bulky. Back when times were better. Anyway, so we're going to put this guy into the torso mode. Super basic transformation, even compared to Transformers. So I take the helmet out. There you go. Fold arms in. There we are. Pull legs out. First put his uh, cod piece up there. That'll form the chest part. Yeah, there we go. All right. Both legs are the same on each side. Same with the arms. In. Start building them up. Oh, yeah. And I kind of like the motif uh, in here. These kind of look like Japanese castle things, his legs. Okay, and for the arms, we'll move that there. There it is. Again, this might be even easier to do. So it's just up, covering the head. I guess I should do... I forgot to do uh, articulation with those, but spoiler alert, the arms move on the legs, and that's about it. So I'm going to skip it, actually. All right, in here, and then this folds in, revealing his fist. You see his connector port there. All right, same with the pink. on there so there he is normally you have like a big sword and everything which i do have in there i'm just not gonna get it out right now 
Uh, so yeah, this was released Power Rangers Season 3. We'll take a look at it. I dig the chrome. It's a big figure. Probably about 10 inch. Maybe 9. Arms rotate. But that's it. These old Zords are bricks. And you know what? That is fine with me. Next thing you can do with this is you can actually combine it with the Deluxe Falcon Zord. So this Falcon Zord, that was released in Season 2, uh, and you could use that with the Ninja Megazord to make the Ninja Mega Falcon Zord, I believe. Um, and uh, they brought it back for in the Season 3 show to combine with that. So let's power them up here. Super easy. I'm just going to take the head off. Arms come off. Bird. There it is. Feet down. Head up. The wings have clip-in points. Same with the back. There we go. Head can go back on. And now the arms just go right back on. There's a snap onto the wings. And now he's getting real big. He looks like a, a linebacker. He's ready to eat you for breakfast, I think. So, there he is in that mode. Very cool. And if you can find one for cheap, ish I'd go for it one thing to watch out for and I'm gonna throw up some of the price prices on here maybe right after this segment is a lot of times you'll see guys and they're selling them without the helmet for maybe 70 bucks maybe 80 bucks maybe even less than that the problem is if yours is missing a helmet on the buy and sell groups the original ones, these go for about 50 US, give or take. I've seen them go for maybe 40. I've seen them go for more, though. So 50 US is kind of what I've seen people list them for. And they do sell surprisingly at that. There's 3D prints available, but um, they just they don't compare. Uh, if you had to do that, though, yeah, you could you could make it work. So we're going to bring in the last uh, piece of this uh, set here. And so this we're going to make the Ultra Zord right now. All right. So here we have Titanus. Or in the UK... I guess uh, they didn't like uh, how uh, Titanus was spelt. You can uh, look that up. Um, so they called him Titanos, which I just find is pretty, pretty funny. So I'm just going to back him up into the box there, apparently. So what do you do for this guy? You can go... Yeah, I'll take this off. All right, his tail comes off. Now that is going to become his cannons for Ultra Zord mode. Okay. Yippee Kaye, Mother Trucker. Here we go. That opens up. I can take this guy in here. I forgot. You got to fold up. The wheels, my bad. That. The arm's coming off. The, the reviewer's going to shit. No, we're good. There we are. Uh, yeah. Okay. And there we go. Excuse my chair on the uh, dining room floor there. 
Oh, yeah. All right. There it is. In all of its glory. Yeah, I think this thing is amazing. I recommend picking it up. I'm going to throw some prices on, and I'm going to do a little quick chat with you about what I think good prices are. Again, stuff to look out for, like the helmet. So you might think you got a really good deal. Oh, I picked it up for 40 Canadian on Kijiji or Marketplace. But then you're trying to find an original helmet. That You know what? That just pushed your way up over what you would have paid to get to one complete, let alone all the little weapons. If you try to part out all the little weapons and stuff, you will not have a good time. All right, guys, so remember, don't let anybody or anything ever stop you from collecting. All right, guys, a few things here at the end. Here's eBay sold. So this is what uh, these are selling for kind of right now, just to get you yeah, kind of a look. At what you might be paying if you went and picked this up today. Now, if you're watching this video, all two of you, in a few years, you can also use these to benchmark the inflation. Um, so you can see this one here, like the, I'll, going for a lot. That's one of the, that's like the Japanese release. Very cool to see it in a box that nice still. And one other thing I forgot to mention, the Titanus actually has a battery compartment. And you can turn that on, and it'll make the whole thing move in a straight line uh, with like battery operation, and his feet are moving. It's pretty cool.